So this is the night before, but this is what the table's gonna look like when the kids come down in the morning. Um, they've been getting up very early and running down to play video games, and we're gonna have a talk about that, mostly because it wakes me up, and you know, why not learn to sleep late right now? They have their iSpy page, there are markers on the table, and then I'm just putting this, you know, who is J.K. Rowling book. It's just in there, so if somebody wants to read it, go for it. Um, and yeah, here we go, friends. Good morning. It's homebounding day one. I am currently taking care of my furriest child who is um, going to the bathroom, so I'm not going to show you that. But um, half of the kids are already up. I let them just do a little screen time. Um, there's Gus. Say hey, good morning, Gus. Gus, say hi. Hi. Oh, there's a good boy. Um, they have a little screen time, so, uh, my fourth grader is playing Minecraft, the kindergartner is watching Wild Kratts on a computer, and the other two, second and six, are probably, if they're awake, they are reading. So, when everybody gets down here, we'll start our day. So, it's breakfast. And I spy time. Got our markers out and ready to go. Hello, William, say good morning. Good morning. Charlie's still getting his breakfast. No, I'm saying Gray, Gray, Gray. Wait, no, potion. <laughs> gray, Gray, Gray. Wait, wait, no. wait. But in her heart, she was still a writer. In her spare moments, she's typed stories on her computer. She scribbled the names of imaginary people and places on the backs of papers. The stories didn't have any... The stories didn't earn her any money. Still, she couldn't stop writing them. Writing stories also let Joe forget about the sad things in her life, like her mother being very sick. You see, there's a picture of her and her mom. So, here we are. Nobody's dressed yet. We're still doing our Harry Potter I Spy. Um, with the exception of a few normal people getting agitated about, you know, siblings. Um, everything's going pretty well. We have all had breakfast. And I am doing a little tidying up trying to get my cabinet door to stay open. And the next thing, um, when they finish or as they finish, I will send them to go get rest, teeth brushed, because I do think um, that's kind of important that we get dressed each day while we're homebound. I don't care what they wear. Um, but, you know, we're not gonna lay around in our pajamas, as I say, as I'm still in my bathrobe. Um, but that just kind of has to do with, you know, normalcy and routine. Um, keeping the days flowing. Um, the dog just rang the bell to go pee and I was gonna do it when I finished talking to you, but the uh, most chore challenged child just popped right up to take him out without me asking. So yay for house points. I don't know how long this you know, will last in terms of effectiveness, but it's working for now, especially since I pointed out some houses are eating clearly. So I'm trying to keep it healthy competition rather than angry competition. Yes, dear. Yes, give me just a second. So anyway, um, they're gonna get dressed and then we'll start academics. Um, I'm just doing a little like, they, they empty the dishwasher, you'll see it later but like they leave all the water bottles taken apart. So I'm putting things away on the shelves they can't reach and stuff like that. And then um, we will get our day started. Hey, William. 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 Do you like listening to your book? Do you like listening to your book? <laughs> How many times have you heard the book? Is it fun? Yeah, but mom, this is the first time finishing it. 
Oh, okay. Okay, so the older three are upstairs supposedly getting dressed. It's awfully loud to be brushing your teeth, but I just wanted to show you what I have for William. So in another post, I showed these two books that I just happened to have. I just wanna show you the kind of thing that it is. So William is in kindergarten and it's these three sentence stories that are asking a question about all of it. This is where I lifted my copy machine thing, printer. But if you don't have this, it's not a big deal. You could easily make this. So either if you're the person that would type it out and print it on your computer or just write it, I suggest writing it because then you're not using your ink. Um, but this says, you know, the elephant trunk is big and great. Well, I could make this match the theme and it could say Harry Potter has a wand. The wand is long. The wand is brown. And then who is the story about? What does Harry have? What color is the wand? What is long? You know, what is whatever. So you could totally do that. I have several, I just printed off these like for the week. So he'll do one a day. So that's William's reading. And then his math. Um, is pretty simple here. And again, you could easily make this or have, if you have an older child, you could have the older child make it. And again, to make it Harry themed, Harry Potter themed, that could be snitches. This could be Deathly Hallows. <laughs> he's so loud because he's listening to that book on tape. Yes. <laughs> Can you help me find the Harry Potter glasses? Yes, give me one minute. What? Give me one minute. Okay. William, manners, please. Mm. One minute. So anyway, he's just supposed to color. It's, this is so he can read his number words. Um, and then so there's two pages. This gets, you know, a little more color eight of them blue instead of just color eight. Um, this is, you know, black dog. He's gonna read it in color of black this same thing <clears throat> and then this is a lot of fun um, and again you could just draw a basic picture of a cup of butterbeer and then here it says like make some green grass make his hat yellow so this is comprehension and following directions and you could do that you know with your basic Harry Potter image and adding some detail all right let me go see this kid Okay, so I'm dressed. The big kids are still upstairs. If you can hear music playing, they are not necessarily doing what they're supposed to, um, but that's okay. They're supposed to be getting dressed, like I said earlier, and um, doing laundry. Um, they're playing, so I'm gonna leave them to it as long as Glenn's not on the phone right now um, for a conference call. The recorder noise is fine. I am gonna go to the grocery store in just a minute. We happen to be out of fruit. I need the really cheap, gotcha. The really cheapo cheese slices um, to give the dog his medicine. Um, but I'm not gonna go crazy at the grocery store. And I wanted to let you guys know one of the things I'm doing. I have this book, I got this for Christmas. I'm making my own bread um, because this book makes it really simple. I'm gonna show you what I do. But I'm not gonna buy bread at the grocery store. That's something I have the ability to make. So I'm not gonna take that from someone else. So this uh, recipe is pretty simple. Um, you start with three cups of warm water it's turning into a cooking show now um, and yes I could have my stu my students <laughs> my children help me do this um, but this isn't novel we're gonna cook something fun with them later um, so the yeast it's one tablespoon of yeast and it comes in a little jar like this because I make this a lot it says to refrigerate after opening um, I keep it in the freezer because that makes it last longer according to something I read in my book, but I'm almost out. So I might buy some more of this. So that just goes in the warm water. I don't do the whole like wait for how long for it to become alive because whatever this process is that I'm doing, it does it itself, but it smells good. And then I'm going to add also a tablespoon of kosher salt 
I guess if I was really being a cooking channel, I would like show you. I'll turn it around and do that here. So I do these three ingredients first. There we are, that's the, whoops, sorry. The yeast, the water, and the salt. And I just take the measuring spoon and like break that up. And then I'm gonna add six and a half cups of flour to this. Okay, so I have everything together. One other thing, just because people are hoarding stuff and whatever, like um, I've seen paper towels be short, and I don't know if that's because like toilet paper short or whatever. But you know, if you have a dish towel, use it, wash it, but use it. So this morning, every morning, crisis or not, I wipe down my counters. So I've used all this is done is really kind of just used a cleaning product on my counters. Stop, who's ever doing that? And then now, as like I just wiped up the flour with it. So it's not like dirty with germs, it's cleaned or wiped off a mostly clean counter. And so I'll just kind of go and, and it'll devolve and get dirty and then I'll put it in the washing machine. Um, I did use my, I have my grandmother's crock. This is what holds my flour and that makes me happy. So this is just three cups of water, a tablespoon of yeast, a tablespoon of kosher salt, and six and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna mix And that's it. I'm gonna put it in this plastic container. Okay, so here is this amount of dough. I'm <laughs> like, what is this called? Dough in this big old container. It's gonna sit out on the counter, covered, right, but not sealed, for two hours and it'll rise. And then I can put it in the refrigerator and it stays good for two weeks. And typically this amount, you'll see it when it rises, I make four loaves of bread. So um, my plan for tonight is this, and that is a pork loin that I have thawing. We use a sous vide for that. And I got interrupted mid-sentence, I don't know what I was saying. But anyway, um, we sous vide the meat. We, I tend to buy all my meat at the beginning of the month. And like rosemary and basil and whatever, and we separate it, vacuum pack it, and then um, once that's thawed, which it'll be thawed in about an hour, uh, I can put it in the sous vide for however long I need it. So that's cooking. It just makes me feel like good and prepared. We've got meat for a bazillion years. I mean, not really, but for the month. And I've got bread. I have vegetables, canned vegetables I have anyway. That's again, not a hoarding thing. It's a family of six thing. And, but I do need to go get fruit. So I'm gonna get fruit, milk if it's there, the cheap cheese to give the dog. Oh, I know what I was gonna share. I got these lunch trays at Publix years ago. And um, this is again, how my kids eat, not during the school year. Um, like they don't eat in, in these things at dinner, but definitely during the summer, just because it helps me remember like, here's your main thing. Here's a vegetable, here's a fruit, here's your beverage, whatever. And it's really easy. They color code, my children color code themselves. So that's Charlie, Henry, William, and Addie Ruth on the bottom. Um, and so it's also easy for a kid to make lunch for all of the others because they know they need to have something to fill each spot. So many cookies, Come on, little house elf. So this is their complete lunches and quite honestly it's a little bit over the top because it just went to the grocery store and I'm like, oh my gosh, we have all the things. But really it's fruit, vegetables, that's ranch, that's guacamole salsa, don't even know. 
Thought that might be good on the chicken or they can put their vegetables or their chicken in the ranch. Those are potato wedges, Newton's milk. So the kids are all outside. We haven't done a ton of like school at the moment. I want them to go play outside for sure. They have done their laundry. They've emptied the dishwasher. We've had lunch, gotten dressed. They did do, if you can see their little I Spy things hanging right there. And they've all done a portion of school, whether it's handwriting or math or whatever. So we still have a little bit more to do, but they're playing outside after lunch. Um, the hot tip I'm about to give you won't work. Like it'll probably be too late by the time you see this, but somebody in our neighborhood Facebook page said, let's do, since tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, I was about to say Leprechaun's Day. She was like, ooh, everybody put a shamrock, you know, in, inside the window of your house. And then as people are walking around, or if you've got smaller kids, you could even drive around the neighborhood and like find the shamrocks. So I printed off, this is a big one. This one's for me. And then there was another sheet and I just found this on Pinterest. It says copyright simple mom project. Um, and so there's another sheet that has four. So I've only used two pieces of paper um, definitely we could have just drawn them. I want to say we could have made them out of green construction paper, but I don't have that. But, um, I'm going to have the kids, however they want to, you know, whether it's just color it or glitter or whatever, glue leaves to it. I don't care, but make their shamrock green. And then we have several, um, windows in the front of our house. So we'll let them, you know, I'm sure they'll want to put their shamrock in their bedroom window. So That'll be fun. So I thought that was a fun little treat. And um, Henry was flipping through our Harry Potter cookbook. And he said he wants to make cauldron cakes. Because cauldron cakes are always, you know, they're um, referred to constantly in Harry Potter. And turns out they're just pancakes. <laughs> so the ingredients are like flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, eggs, sugar, lemon. Which we don't have lemon. Butter and milk, confectioner sugar, and marmalade. So um, I may see if I can scrounge up a lemon from somewhere and maybe we can have cauldron cakes for breakfast tomorrow. So I am going to decorate my shamrock in my moment of peace and quiet. He tells Kion the lion guard should, should be lions. <laughs> lions. You lions, always lions, sound lions. angry when there's an exclamation point. Lions. Lions. You skipped a page. Wait, I You're done. No. What'd you paint? Turn it around. Keep it flat. What is that? Doggy. Doggy. Puppy dog. What do you have, Henry? A sun. Are you happy or are you angry? I'm concentrated. What do you have, sis? A unicorn. Is that perfect for you? Yes. Oh, William just said he's not done. And Charlie. Yes, I forgot to do the tongue. Okay, be careful. Charlie had the butterfly, and I had the rainbow. Hello, guys. How's it going? Find my mom's YouTube video when I get a phone and make a YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. They've already started the Avengers, the Civil War. And so here's our snack. We've got a cup of popcorn and then gummy bears, Swedish fish, and M&Ms and Twix. The only thing that's different about this from any normal time we'd sit down and watch a movie is the candy because I don't usually have candy in my house. So the only really thing, the only thing out of the ordinary so far in our whole day was a art project that I'd purchased and this candy. Dinner's over there cooking away in the sous vide. Corn's laid out and I'm gonna get the bread dough out of the refrigerator in 15 minutes. Okay, so the kids are back there watching Captain America Civil War, is that what it is? And I have taken the bread dough. So if you remember, Woo! Before and it didn't even fill up the bottom, but now you can see how much it's expanded. So, 
I've washed my hands. Oh no. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour over it. And just I can't do this while showing you, but I just scooped it out and then I kind of just fold it over on itself just a couple of times. You don't want to like knock all the air out of it, but you're just kind of like, it has something to do with the gluten, not sure. I read it, don't really need to know why. So now it's this little ball here and I'm gonna pet a little bit more um, flour on it and let it sit on the counter and rise for 40 minutes before I put it in the oven. So that's what it looks like now. There's my hand in comparison. I let it rise for 40 minutes and there's the dough. And then it'll go in the oven at 450 for 35 minutes. And I'll put some slashes in it. So once the bread is ready, I will get the corn started. I'm just gonna boil it. And then I think I'm gonna do a pan of roasted broccoli as well, so. Just gonna go sit and watch a movie. So it hasn't, I mean, I guess it's risen a little bit, maybe, I don't know. You'll have to tell me, cause I'm not comparing them back and forth, but I'm gonna put some slashes in it. So I just use a serrated knife and, and put a little cut in there. That's so it can really expand out when it's in the oven. And then there's something, I don't understand the science, but there's supposed to be boiling water in a pan in the oven with it while it's cooking. It cooks for 35 minutes on 450. Um, so I just use my little electric thing in my bobber here and put the pan in. I'm not gonna show you all that because I'll burn myself. Um, but I'm gonna do that. Prep the, or get the water boiling for the corn and prep the broccoli. All right, so there's the tray of broccoli. There's the corn and there's the bread. Can you see it? Oh, well, that's dirty, but I can't do anything about it. And there's a, looks like some of my water boiled over, but whatever. Um, and then I'll put the broccoli in when we take the pork loin out. It's been in there long enough, but I'm just gonna wait. Glenn went to, he's doing something. So when he's done, we'll slap that on the grill for a second. While William's taking a bathroom break, who would like to set the table? There's plates. Henry, you can do silverware and cups. Three points to Ravenclaw and Lufflepuff. Forks and knives. So here's dinner, corn, broccoli, that's the pork loin. I threw it on the oven for, or on the grill for a little bit just to get some grill marks going. And then here is the bread. I thought I'd show it to you before I slice it. So like, that's my hand. As I slice it up, it ends up being about two pieces per person. It's, we'll eat the whole thing, so it's the perfect amount. Um, so there's dinner. So, my husband is cleaning up dinner. Children are supposed to play in cold play and then get their jammies on and get in the bed and read for a little while. And so I am going to soak in my bathtub for a nice long time and then do some prep for tomorrow. I stayed in the bathtub for about an hour. It was glorious. And I just have come down to, the kitchen is pretty cleaned up, thanks to my children and my husband. I do have to brag on my amazing husband, who did a bunch of laundry today and then cleaned up dinner. So, um, if you have a husband who's working from home, like he helped to the biggest extent that he can. I mean, he's working so um that's awesome so now i'm gonna prep for tomorrow so i just hung those up there on our board where is our schedule and all the other schedules over here we have a note from the leprechaun that says top of the morning me wee bonnie babes i've hidden 10 gold coins each 
around the house for ye. And then it's Charlie's is in the office, Henry dining room, Addie Ruth kitchen, William living room. When you find them all, you get a reward, which is gonna be some points over there for the house cup. Also, my leprechaun friends will make a special delivery around 8 a.m. All the luck to you, your friendly leprechaun. And so the special delivery is um, Dunkin' Donuts is delivering leprechaun donuts to your house. But I just wanted to show you, this is some of William's gold coins. So there's one right there. If you can see the pink frog on the um, mantle there that whole contraption over there is the ps4 the dog there were cords or something and the dog somehow pulled the ps4 off the shelf and it man it lived nobody knows how look there i am why is my light on um but if right there in the mirror there's one of his so that is kind of some of just the fun stuff for tomorrow all the coins and the shamrocks over there cost me a total of five dollars and hopefully you'll give them just something a little bit special we're going to do some leprechaun art but i'll update you with that tomorrow have a good night guys wash your hands and remember if you're not nice in the comments you can't be my friend okay love you bye